She only texts me. Hey y'all, it is October 5th. You guys have not seen me on the vlog, on camera, maybe since like September 24th or 25th, I think. Um, honestly y'all, I just, my emotions and just me, sporadically crying i just couldn't vlog and um the funeral hasn't the funeral is this weekend coming up which is october 9th so i'm gonna try to get back vlogging um this week because i haven't vlogged like i don't be hold on me picking up the camera is just and i know y'all can understand if y'all lost somebody close to y'all and y'all understand where i'm coming from like vlogging the guilt that you feel of losing someone close to you when life has to go on it's so hard like i told myself the day it was confirmed that my friend was actually dead that you know i gotta live because i don't want my emotions to take over i have to live because nothing i do can bring my friend back so I don't, I didn't want to fall into depression. And you know, and it's, I feel like some people are being insensitive to what I'm going through. It's like, I have to remind some people, like, I just lost my best friend. Like, this is my real best friend, like my brother. Like, y'all might have not seen him on the vlog, but this is, this is I'm the main character. This is my show. Like, y'all not going to see all my friends all the time. Like, even if I hang out with my friends, it's just a B-roll of us or... A little bit of conversation or a little bit of this or a little bit of that it's never um you know i never display my friends on my channel especially because sometimes they don't want to be on my they don't want to be on camera like they know i'm a vlogger but you know they don't care if i vlog but they don't always want to be on camera and i respect that of them but um i never really vlog with my friend like even if i would be around him i still never vlog but, um, yes, that's my friend. It's been my friend since we were, um, teenagers, 16 years old. So, I, I've, he's been my friend for half of my life. He's been with me, um, for every walk of my life, for every transition. Um, we just watched each other grow into better people. And, you know, I'm just so, so hurt by his death. Um, this is like the first time I can actually get on camera and not cry and talk about it. And I feel like I'll be better after the funeral. So, I'm trying to get back into um, <clears throat> making content. But I definitely needed this break. Um, I know it was unexpected. And I know y'all probably like, damn girl, when you coming back? And I appreciate that nobody has been like, where's the vlog? Where's the vlog? And stuff because, <laughs> y'all, honestly, it's just, it's so hard. I can't express enough how it's so hard for me to vlog and, um... And just live life like even though i've been doing stuff and living still i don't record like or i'll like take pictures and stuff but i don't post like <sighs> all i can say is i miss my friends so much and uh y'all don't want to cry on camera I miss my friends so much and i know crying is normal and it's okay for me to cry but y'all I'm tired of crying like literally I was crying for 11 days straight every day this week I've only cried like once or twice and it's Wednesday 
So imagine that every day I've been crying for 11 days straight since I found out my friend got killed on September 23rd. I have been crying like I'm exhausted from crying. I keep telling God, I don't know where you're getting the tears from for me because I feel like every time I cry, I cry, I cry all my tears. But y'all, I miss my friends so much and I'm so like, I'm just so hurt that I'm never going to be able to talk to him again or see him again. But you know, as I said before, you know, nothing I do from this day forward can bring him back. Only thing I can do is keep his name alive and keep, you know, just pushing on. But I do ask that everybody around me be very patient with me and, you know, just show me grace as I'm showing myself grace because, y'all, this is the hardest thing I ever had to do. Y'all, this is my bed sheet, <laughs> but I gotta wipe my eyes. But this is like the hardest thing I'm going through. And I just knew like after um the girl I knew who got killed back in May, I just knew I wasn't going to no more funerals. And for me to be going to my own best friend's funeral is a really it's heartbreaking so yeah um i don't know when y'all gonna see this vlog um i have content in vlogs that needs to be edited i'm gonna try i'm not gonna lie next week i'm gonna open my laptop and try to edit it's just been so hard um and i got clothing hauls and I had so much stuff planned and then life threw me a fucking curveball the biggest curveball the biggest L that I've taken all year but I'm getting better every day y'all uh, after the funeral I would definitely be able to um have that closure and heal I feel like I hate funerals I'm not gonna lie but I feel like when you lose someone close to you and you know in the funerals to be had I feel like you should go for closure because the funeral provides closure it provides you like a, re a reality like this is what's really going on but once the funeral is over I feel like I can be able to swing back and slowly get into my normal life right now I'm just like I cannot live my life to the fullest until my friend is properly laid to rest and that's where I'm at with it and if nobody around me understand that then it is what it is like you can go i don't care who i lose i just lost somebody very close to me so yeah i, I don't really give a fuck but i just wanted to come on here and say that um in you know barter news me and my cousin we're about to go to longhorn um for dinner um yeah, we about to go to Longhorn, get us some dinner and stuff. I don't know why my camera keep going out of focus. We about to get us some dinner, and I'm about to come back home, be in the bed, and go to sleep. Um, I got to go to work tomorrow, and then I'm off on Friday, and I'm off on Monday. But, yeah, y'all, I just had to come on here and say that because I have not picked up my camera. And, honestly, I ain't even been thinking about vlogging. Like, I've been thinking about y'all, but... I had to get myself together first. I had to make sure I'm okay going forward. So, yeah. I'll probably see y'all at Longhorn if I remember to bring my camera. If not, I'll probably see y'all tomorrow or over the weekend sometime. And then, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to do a weekly vlog yet. But, yeah. I'll see y'all soon. Bitch, this was last minute. You can come. I just got here. Kia, girl, don't ask all them questions. I'm on the way, baby. Bring my fucking cookies. All right. And don't forget them. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, this is real reality so i turned up this night went out drinking with my friends and lo and behold i get back home and guess what i'm doing fucking crying literally got tears coming out my ass for like 
I swear this pain. It's gonna take a long time to go away, y'all. Like, I feel like I don't got nobody to vent to, so. Like, my friend really gone, bro. He <laughs> can never get me back. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. It's the day of the funeral. I'm on the way to my mom's house to stop by for a little bit. And I'm going to be there. Of course, I'm not going to record the funeral. I've left my camera at home by accident. I have every intention to bring it to a vlog this day. But, um, of course, I don't know. It's I'm going to record at the cemetery, but not in the actual church and stuff. Um, y'all, today, I feel good. I feel good. Because um, I got to see my friend. He looked so good. He looked just like himself. Like, y'all, when I tell y'all, it was like him just laying there sleeping. And, um, yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm sad. I'm hurt. But I feel like I finally got my peace. And I'm about to get my closure from um, his death. It's going to be hard. Every day not gonna be a good day. I mean, I'm still gonna cry, but you know what? Um, my friend lived a good life, and he at peace. And long as he at peace, I can be at peace too. And that makes me feel ten times better. But I'll um, see y'all in a bit. And thank you guys for the prayers and support. I know a lot of y'all may not have known what was going on. Y'all probably think I just went ghost from YouTube, but I didn't. Um, yeah. So, I'll see y'all in a bit. Good morning, y'all. It is Sunday, October 10th, I think. No, 9th. It's October 9th. Whew. I'm finally cleaning up. I'm washing my sheets. I gotta get this mess up off my floor with all these clothes everywhere. But I'm drinking a kombucha because my stomach hurts so bad, y'all. Whew, I drank a lot yesterday. I had a bottle of champagne. I had like four beers. <laughs> Before y'all say something, yes, I like beer. Michelob Ultra, it gotta be real cold. What else? I had shots of Don Julio. I was eating all kind of food. My stomach hurts so bad. I'm probably gonna need to um, do a detox. This kombucha probably not gonna be the only thing I drink today. One thing I'm drinking today is water. Um, I kind of I need to go to Target because I need to take this shirt back because I didn't even end up wearing that shirt to the funeral that I had bought, so I'm gonna take it back because I have no need for it. And then I want to go to um, <coughs> Trader Joe's. I want to get some flowers for my face. Kind of start the week on a little positive note. Tomorrow I don't have work. But I got a dentist appointment, so I'll be doing that. And um, I'm gonna edit this video for y'all, this vlog that I had. And then I'm just gonna find all the footage that I've been recording here and there. Go gonna stole my drawers. On my whole name Only gets worse when you know things You don't see the perks of this whole thing 
But you get real on a pill and I like it You just like my sidekick, I just wanna ride, fulfill all your desires Keep you in the front, never in the back Some cute work clothes On the side of you're a real ass woman, and I like it. I don't want to fight. Look, you know, I'm a rider, nothing left to hide. Your other nigga tired. Talk about you like you never leave a side, but I don't really fight. Me, I'm moving quiet. All the things you try, and let's just keep it private. Tell me, should I cut these other girls right out of my life? Cause I don't want to fight. Yeah. I figure. Just to see what all I have. Thank you. So, y'all. Yeah, the wash rags were $5. Five colors, that was good. Okay. <clears throat> Last but not least, I got two new e.l.f. brushes. One is a swirl foundation and the other one is a powder brush. Um, I like these actually. This precision collection from e.l.f. I think it's a good um, brush. I Y'all know I have the angled one already. So, when I do my makeup again, I'm going to try these two as well. Um... I got some room spray. This is the vetiver and cedarwood. It smells so freaking good, y'all. Go get it. And they have candles that smell like this as well. They smell really good. But I love this scent. It's so um manly and like clean. Love it. And then of course I got some more lotion. You can never have enough lotion, but um I only have this vanilla lotion for body lotion, so I got this, which is non-smell because the vanilla lotion doesn't go with all of my um perfumes and stuff so i just got some regular smelling lotion that has no scent basically so that when i put on my perfume you know it sticks or whatever might have you but yeah that's all i got from target i'll see you guys in the morning i'm about to take a shower and get in the bed i'm tired um i gotta go to the dentist tomorrow so yeah i'll see y'all in tomorrow's continuation of this vlog <laughs> Oh, I forgot to show y'all. I went and got my nails done. I don't think I told y'all. But here's how my nails look. My best friend's colors for his funeral was um, basically the Jacksonville Jaguars color. Turquoise, teal. I said turquoise, teal, white, and black. So I just got this simple little design that I love. It's the little clouds in the sky and a black card. Super cute. Every set of flowers that has been in this vase has bloomed so beautifully. I think it's because my friend is on there. He was a beautiful person. But I just put these flowers in here yesterday. Y'all seen me do that. And look how they done bloomed already. Like, that's crazy. But I was just coming back on here because... Yeah, I wouldn't be able to vlog when I left out the house anyways because guess what? I left my memory card at home for the camera. So, what am gonna be able to vlog? I just bought a little bit of groceries. I don't know if I'm cooking tonight, but we shall see. Oh man. I got the damn oatmeal with me. Okay. I don't think. Yep. Nope. So I had to take it out of the box because something spilled on it. But I got some maple brown sugar oatmeal, some sour cream, some biscuits, and a piece of salmon. I can't believe this waste. Got some porky chops, starts with some of that no meat. Some Konecas, the best sausages 
ever. Great green beans. And some corn. And that is it. These are at Walmart. So good. When I say so good, so good. Y'all should go get some. Tell me how y'all like them. They are good. What? Okay. We had fun outside. She didn't even want to look. Come here. I finally got it, y'all. Coco, say hey. Say hey, Coco. Say hey. Coco. Coco, look. Say hey. Coco. Say hey. Coco. Say hey to my camera. Say hey. Say hey. <laughs> Quit licking your tongue and say hey. Say hi. Show your teeth. Show your teeth. You know what? When I'm eating some food later on, don't come bother me. Yeah, let me put this stuff up. I probably won't see y'all for the rest of the night. I ain't gonna lie. I'm exhausted. I am definitely exhausted and my stomach is hurting. So yeah. Let me deal with those pains. I'll see y'all tomorrow though. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Hey y'all. Who is this? Brand new. Like the wind. Forget to come and pick up your feelings. Okay, y'all. So today is Thursday. It's my nephew's football game today because they was out of school tomorrow. I for I don't know what day, and then they took the day back because of the hurricane. They let them out of school for the hurricane, so now they got to go to school tomorrow. But they moved all the game. They moved the game to Thursday. So. We having Thursday night football, not Friday night football. I'm on the way to Dick Swings to um, go meet up with my auntie and my cousin. We about to eat some chicken real quick before the game. Cause baby, <laughs> I be hungry at them games. Cause it's dinner time when it's the game. So yeah, we about to go eat some chicken. I already sent, told them my order. I ordered Cajun Ranch, all flats, medium, with celery blue cheese and ranch and ranch dressing first of all if y'all don't eat blue cheese with y'all chicken i don't know what to tell y'all because blue cheese is top tier whoever thought ranch was top tier it's not it's blue cheese baby especially with some chicken wings if you ain't eat your chicken wings with no blue cheese i feel sorry for you because blue cheese go with chicken wings chicken wings and blue cheese go together real bad real real bad so yeah that's just my take because i'm just not a ranch girl like that's never been me like i'll eat blue cheese on my salad that's how mature i am i eat raw onions i'm very very mature you know what i'm saying a lot of people ain't mature like me a lot of people gotta have their stuff cooked not me baby not me but let's go up in here and eat some chicken and stuff up here and eat some chicken and stuff. Let's see what I'm gonna park. I'm park right up in this morning. I was gonna park in that handicap, but I ain't gonna park in no handicap. Y'all, I need to get my hair done. I try to book me a hair appointment. The girls is booked up. I don't really understand how people know how they want their hair two weeks from now. Cause I can never put book an appointment that early. Cause I don't be knowing how I want my hair. People that do that. I am I commend them because baby I, I can't I, I can't be that dedicated to a hairstyle. That's a lot of dedication. I just wanted me some little braids. Nobody's available to do, do them tomorrow and I really need them done tomorrow because I might be hanging out tomorrow night with my friends. So now it's looking like I'm finna be ponytail shawty because <laughs> Because, um, yeah, 
I don't gotta better do my hair. I miss, I miss my stylist like so much because she was multi talented. Baby, I can go to her to get a shortcut quick. We sew in color, relaxer, braids, everything. She's she's a one stop shop. These other girls not a one stop shop, baby. They barely want to wash your hair for an appointment. It's a little disturbing. Up. You know what? It you says prepare what? for the heat because we're gonna break the AC. <laughs> <laughs> It is Friday. Oh, excuse me. I'm so hungry. I ate all freaking day. But I just got my toes done. Now, when I went to the nail salon, it was a little, it was a little cool outside. I ain't gonna lie. But I came out and it's hot as hell. They need to come on across the street with their old ugly ass. Get the fuck out my way. But yeah, I'm not as hot as hell outside. So, and I ain't gonna lie. People be driving so crazy. That's just like, why are you slanging in here like that? Old ass. Just get on my nerves. But yeah, that's what I was saying. I had kind of wanted some chili from Wendy's, but baby, he ain't give a chili weather no more. Cause it's not cool outside, it's hot. <clears throat> Head home because I don't want no meat, I don't want no meat kiddies. That's the only thing around here is Chick-fil-A. I really don't want no Chick-fil-A either. So I'm just gonna see what I got at the house to eat at this point. Cause this is giving cook something out your motherfucking house. That's the problem with us. We eat out too much. We as me, but this ain't about me right now. This we as it is about me, cause I said we. I meant to say y'all. But we as in y'all, they, us, everybody in in the community. But people talking about the way groceries set up, eating out and buying groceries costs the same. But I don't know. I still, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I like restaurants. Don't get me wrong. Do not get me wrong. I still like to prepare my own food. <laughs> and I know that sounds crazy because y'all know I do be going out a lot. And I probably go out more than I show y'all. That's the real tea. Because half of the time, I forget to record. I don't bring my camera. Or I bring my camera and I still forget to record because I'm in the midst of running my goddamn mouth. But I be going out more than y'all see me go out to eat. But that's my business, though. That's my business. That's my business. It's my, it's my business, sis. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's weird. Like, I don't know. I still prefer home-cooked meals. So I'm finna see what I got in here to whip up real quick. I don't want no pancakes because I had pancakes yesterday. Um, I really could make me some ramen with a little egg with a little sausage ooh if I had some shrimps maybe I might stop the Publix and give me some shrimps and don't embarrass me like that Paired. this shit be embarrassing me but I don't know but I got a lash appointment later on. I got a lash appointment at 8.30. Why I got a lash appointment at 8.30, I don't even fucking know because that was the only time she had available on Friday. But I just spent my whole two-hour break in the fucking pedicure chair. That's kind of disrespectful because... And it's disrespectful because... 
why did it take you so long is what I want to know because like I'm a little frustrated bro because it took it took too long like I she took her time on ain't gonna lie baby she massaged the fuck out of my feet when I tell y'all my motherfucking toes look so good bitch it look like I got acrylic on my toes I ain't never had acrylic on my toes, baby. These real toenails, baby. These, these, these them grow your own toes. Baby, these, these homegrown. I don't know what they talking about. You know that T-Top be saying? Hmm, what the fuck y'all hoes in talking about? Y'all ain't talking about nothing. Y'all hoes ain't talking about nothing, bitch. Y'all ain't talking about nothing when it comes to these motherfucking feet, bitch. These feet done be all in the nigga mouth. You hear me? You hear me? All in the nigga mouth. Mouth all up in there, all up through there. Little nigga, could we all up through there? Hey, hey, hey. I don't think that's the right one, y'all. I don't really know my way home, so I be having to use the GPS. This is so freaking sad, and I hope I did not miss my turn because I don't got time to play. I do not got to always say I'm 11 minutes away. Okay, 11 minutes. Okay, I was getting on the right one. This bitch behind me. Girl, it's 25 miles per hour to get on the motherfucking ramp. Chill out before I make you hit my shit. Now you got to pay me, but it look like you want to run a car. You probably ain't got no insurance on that bitch. So I'm going to let you slide today. But don't get beside yourself. People be acting like they be in such a rush. Baby, be an adult and leave your house at the right time. Be an adult and leave your destination. Look at your, look up your uh, directions and see how long it's gonna take you to get there so you know how much time you need to allow in that time frame. That's what's wrong with you motherfuckers. Y'all don't be preparing. Got to, got to teach y'all that like PTO, prepare the others, baby. I need to prepare y'all because y'all is not preparing for the adulthood and lifehood that y'all is trying to live. I'm sick of it. I'm tired of having this rant about people just acting like they in such a rush. Like, I be in a rush, but at the end of the day, if I know I'm going to be late, baby, I'm just, I'm just mosey on down. I'm going to take my, I ain't going to take my time, but you know, I ain't going to be rushing. I'm just going to be like, all right, you know, I get there when I get there because there's nothing I can do about it. If I'm in traffic, yeah, that's poor planning on my part, poor execution. But this whole want to be all behind me, and then I ain't even in the fast lane, bitch. I'm in the slow lane, so you need to really slow the fuck down. Like, for real. If y'all can tell, I'm in a really good mood, and I'm so happy that I'm in a good mood. Um, I haven't cried today. I'm so proud of myself because, y'all, I, I don't cry for 20 days. And, you know, and I was talking to one of my managers today. She called me so unrelated she was calling me about a hotel in um new orleans or whatever but um she was just like you know just take your time and you know girl because what the fuck sir you need to fucking find your way but she was like you know just take your time with your healing she was like i hate that people feel like people so fast paced in life so they feel like you just got to get over things quick not nobody in my life telling me I got to get over things quick. Everybody is telling me to take my time. I'm telling myself to take my time. I'm giving myself grace. But at the same time, it's a hard adjustment in my life right now. It's very hard. Like, I just be sad out of nowhere. And I know it's going to be like that for a long time. It's probably going to be like that for the rest of my life. But, you know, and I'm... I'm, I'm just learning to be okay with that and learning to deal with like I'm about to cry right now I don't know about I don't know about I know I'm about to cry but I'm about to cry right now but um I was telling my um manager about it whatever and, you know she was like I feel like when someone get murdered like nobody deserves to be murdered and I feel that way too because baby who are you to take a life from somebody because y'all don't even know me for real I'm a little gangsta boo but I'm gonna chill because it's the internet I'm gonna chill but okay all right yeah okay but anyways like i was saying so yeah i had um we was just talking about it, whatever and you know and she was just telling me to take my time and you know don't don't let nobody rush me into my healing mode and nobody rushes me you know i still be trying to live my life but at the end of the day sometimes i be needing a moment to myself because i want to cry i feel like when i cry i feel better 
it don't solve nothing but I feel my feelings are feeling better after I cry but you know I just hate and I'm gonna keep saying I hate that I have to live life without my friend like a lot of people don't understand you know I don't I don't get on the internet and brag about no relationship I have with none of my friends so you know and I'm not I, I haven't got on the internet and bragged about our relationship because if you know him and you knew me then you already knew what the fuck was up with us like that's my boy like I'm down I'm down with him through, through whatever and it's been that way and that's why we fuck with each other so hard like I remember at one point my friend ain't nobody fuck with him nobody want to go out to the club with him or nothing baby who he be like best friend I want to go out me too shit cause this in my younger 20s in my younger 20s baby like how these little girls be talking about they young and turnt baby no baby I was young and turnt baby like 21 22 baby young and turnt custom outfits club concerts every weekend driving out of town popping bottles spending a hundred dollars at the door no line no wait like I was really living like a real ghetto hood rich lifestyle like for real for real like that shit was fun I ain't gonna lie but um I remember at one point you know my friend ain't nobody wanna fuck with him nobody wanna go to the club with him or nothing. he was like he called me he was like best friend I wanna go to the club I'm like bro come on I'm ready shit it's Friday night I ain't got nothing to do let's go let's, get, let's go get drunk bro and I stayed with him in the club the whole night and he was surprised but I told him like you know, a lot of people were scared of him because, you know, he lived a street life and stuff. But I always told him, like, he was a man-man. He was nobody to be scared of. Like, my friend was a gentle giant, for real. Like, if you know, you know. And so, ever since then, like, he just since like, damn, this girl really, like, she really fucked me this way my dog, for real. Like, yeah, I ain't scared of that shit. Like, when I say, and I said this in my last video, I feel the safest around my friend. Like, I know when I'm with him, nobody ain't gonna fuck with me. I don't give a fuck. If you feel like you gonna fuck with me, you ain't gonna fuck with me. And if you wanna fuck with me while he around, baby, I ain't even got to do nothing. Bitch, I'm a promise. I'm be the hood princess, bitch. My, one thing about my friend, baby, he gonna, he gonna take up for me. I'm the hood princess, bitch. Don't play with me. Like, he gonna pop off before I even got to say anything. Baby, I call my, I get into it with any of the guy I call my friend. He like, send me that picture. What what happened? What's going on? What you need me to do? Baby, my friend, he ride or die for me and I'm ride or die for him. Like, period. And that's how I will forever be. But, yeah. And it's so funny because um, somebody told me that he told that story to them. And I was like, it made me feel so good because, you know, not that I don't ever think none of my friends talk shit behind my back or nothing like that. But, you know, just to know, like, people speaking highly of you in rooms you're not in or just, you know, talking about you in such a gracious and good way. And you're not around. Like, one thing about it, my friend... Can't nobody say shit about him. Can't, can't nobody say shit about none of my friends. But can't nobody say shit about John John. And they, they, everybody knows that for a fact, baby. All my friends be like, oh, you is, yeah, that, that, that's, that's definitely your best friend. Yes, that's my best friend. Y'all can't say shit about him. And never, never to this day, can, you cannot say nothing about my boy. And I ain't gonna let you say nothing about him. And that's just that on that. But yeah, y'all, mm, I'm, I'm in a good mood today. I'm, I'm in a good mood. I'm in a good mood. Hey, I like to feel you. Mm, mm, mm. I'm gonna go up in this house. Finish. So y'all need this, a comb and braid in here. Let's see if we can successfully get it in. Let me text my niece and make sure it's the right one. Uh, I was craving some crystals. If you know, you know. The chili cheese fries are here. I don't get my crystals with cheese because that's just not my type of party. And yeah, they make your stomach hurt worse. So I just get regular crystals, but I love me some crystals. But I'm finally back home about to eat and get my hair done. nasty so y'all this is what i'm wearing this dress and then i'm gonna put on these boots right here get this bag i'll probably take pictures hopefully i get to take pictures if not i don't know we'll see 
but I'll see you. I get it too. Yeah, they got good lighting here. Yeah, so when she blew, she'll take a Yeah, they got good lighting here, but we finally at the table. I Yeah, I'll stay here for my friends. It's his birthday. Yeah, man, you two are bringing us in. He turned 30. She blew. Coming with him. <laughs> he, a, he an old man now. Man, yeah, you good? even when I turn 30, I'm still going to be a young tender. I'm never going to be an old lady. I'm young forever, baby. But y'all. Did I not beat my face? Like, let's get into it. I look so good. I look so good right now, y'all. <laughs> so good. I'll show y'all my drink. Y'all already know what I got when I come here. I get a blackberry sidecar all the time. I was gonna try something different because they got a uh, special drink on the hand on the chef's menu. It's called Ray Rita. It got Patron Reposado. Hey, it's some other stuff that I don't. It got some jalapeno agave or something. I don't know. I don't want that. Tangent or something. I don't know. I don't like the ingredients. I don't know. Here we are. But yeah, I'll be back with the drop. Yeah, yeah. 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 Ye
Let me pull my flash out. <laughs> that's, this is not. Oh, no. uh, that's too done. No, no. I like my my steak moving. I don't like this doing steak. Uh -oh. Yeah, but I like some good lobster, but I'm ready. You want a piece? Huh? Excuse me. This is not um medium. This is like medium well. It's no peaks in it. <laughs> you see, it's no peaks in it. Okay. If you want to put it on a side plate, I'll get another one for you. Okay. okay. Sorry. That's fine. Yeah, that's too good. I'm sorry. Huh? Oh, I know my state. They can't tell me nothing about it. Uh uh, they don't make my stomach hurt medium well now. That'll send me to the bathroom. I don't The taste is not there at medium well, it's too done. I don't like it fully medium or fully well. You can give me just that balance. I want it pink though. Nah, I need my, I need to see pink. It need to be a little blood on my plate. I don't know. Real I'm gonna show you my outfit. 